Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Fantastic news for you. Uncovered version 6.0 has been released to the public, which supports iOS 14 to 14.3. Yes, in fact, it's now possible to jailbreak the latest flagship devices like the iPhone 12 Pro Max that we're going to be jailbreaking in today's video. Not to worry, it also supports devices as old as the iPhone 6S and everything in between. As long as it can run iOS 14 to iOS 14.3, you're good. So with that being said, let's get directly into jailbreaking. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering the alt store method, which requires a Windows or Mac base PC. In just a few hours, however, there will be on device signing platforms uh, hosting the latest version of Uncover. So you'll be able to use those directly on device uh, to download the Uncover jailbreak and then use that utility to jailbreak your iPhone. In this tutorial, we're going to use Alt Store to sideload the Uncovered Jailbreak. Two reasons for this. One, the on-device signing platforms are not live yet. And two, this is the more reliable method of doing this. Now, before we move to the computer, there's just a couple of things we have to take care of on device. One, you're going to go into the settings app, go down to general and go to iPhone storage. Now here you're looking for any OTA software updates that are downloaded, but not yet installed. So I'm currently on iOS 14.3. I go to general about says it right there. Uh, if say I had iOS 14.4 downloaded, but not yet installed, that's what we're looking for. That's what we have to delete. It can mess up the jailbreak process. I can tell mine's not downloaded as it's prompting me to download and install. Also within the iPhone storage, uh, there's no software update downloaded right here. Typically they're near the top, but double check that. Secondly, we're gonna go ahead and plug our devices into our computer uh, just with a standard lightning cable. Now I've connected my phone to my computer uh, multiple times. I've trusted the connection, but you might have to trust both on the iPhone and on the computer if this is your first time connecting the iPhone to your computer. So good one. Let's do one more thing on our iOS device since we're here. Uh, all of the download links that you need for this process is in the first link in this video's description. It's on our Best Tech Info website. We have a full written tutorial of this content if you guys prefer uh, to read it that way. So head to our site, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the download links section for this purpose of this video. There are these giant buttons right here. And at this point in the video, we're gonna download the Uncovered Jailbreak IPA. So you're gonna click that first link right there. Give it one second while it redirects. At this point in time, please subscribe if you enjoy our content, but to download the Uncovered Jailbreak, just click this link right here. This is the official site. You can go ahead and download version 6.0, just like that. It's going to download via Safari and put it on your iOS device. Now it's downloaded. The next step, which is kind of the more complex one, is that we actually have to install it, but we have it downloaded. Let's go ahead and move over to the computer. So again, this process can be done either on Windows or Mac. I'm on my MacBook Pro right now. Again, you're going to want to head to our Best Tech Info website article that has all of the download links. This time, instead of selecting Uncover, we're actually going to navigate to Alt Server or Alt Store. So again, wait a second for this to redirect. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click this link right here to be redirected to the Alt Store website. So for Mac OS, we can click download right here. For Windows users, the process is ever so slightly different. I will have a video linked down below in this description highlighting those steps, even though they're pretty similar. So uh, once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and go to our downloads folder and uh, double tap this to open it up. Uh, once the application is unzipped, we can move it to our applications folder uh, and then we can go ahead and just double tap to open and then click open on the prompt. So a couple things we need to do here. Alt store is actually loaded right here or alt server on the computer. Uh, you need to install the mail plugin as uh, it takes uh, advantage of a vulnerability in Apple's mail application to make this process possible. Once it's installed, we can go ahead and open up said mail application, go up to mail in the top left of the menu bar, click preferences, and then go to manage plugins and just make sure this is clicked right here. 
So with it all up and running, now we can install Alt Store uh, to our iPhones. And we're going to use Alt Store to install the Uncovered Jailbreak application. So I'm selecting my iPhone 12. The name of the iPhone will pop up right here. And then enter your Apple credentials here. I'm just using a throwaway account, but uh, this is totally secure. Um, it's just going to Apple's servers. So I will go ahead and install it. Click continue if it's already using it on another device. It says installing alt store. This will take a few seconds up in the top right. Now on your device, you should see alt store pop up. It actually didn't put it on a page for me. So I had to scroll over to my app or library and manually drag it to my home screen. Either way, this is the application we're looking for right here to open that. The only other thing we have to do is go back to our settings app right here. It's going to say, uh, actually not going to say profile downloaded. So we'll go to general, go all the way to the bottom to device management, select our Apple ID and click trust. That's going to let us open and run the application on our iOS device. So with that being said, we have alt store installed. Uh, then we can go to my applications right here, down at the bottom, click the plus up in the top left. Uh, and then let's see, where did it download? Downloads maybe? Yeah, there it is. Okay, find the Uncover 6.0 IPA, probably in downloads, but that's the one we're looking for right there and just double tap it. Now it's actually installing the Uncover Jailbreak application onto your iOS device. And this will only take a few seconds here. So that entire process with the alt store of sideloading the uncovered jailbreak is what is made so much easier with on-device signing platforms. So a pro tip here though, is if you guys use your computer a lot, if it's like a desktop sitting at home that's always on, if you click show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi, uh, the alt store will actually update automatically in the background and you never have to sign it again. Uh, it is awesome. So the alt store will always be signed. It will re-sign itself after seven days whenever you're connected to the Wi-Fi network that you have your alt server on. I just have mine on a Mac mini uh, that I use as a Plex server. And so it works out pretty good. Anyhow, let's go over and uh, hopefully somewhere on the home screen. Actually, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so again, we can go to our app library. There's the uncovered jailbreak and I'll just put it on my home screen and we should be able to double tap and open it. Yep, don't even have to confirm the developer right there. Uh, totally forgot one step within the app alt store here is you might have to sign in to your Apple ID once more. I was already signed in for whatever reason, but uh, that is the only other step and it will prompt you in that process. So once Uncover is up, this is the golden moment guys. We can finally jailbreak iOS 14.3 Again, this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, the latest flagship device, and uh, let's finally jailbreak this, guys. So just like the previous jailbreaks, we have to run this application twice. So just click OK, let your iPhone restart, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, with our iPhone back online, we can scroll over once more to the Uncovered Jailbreak application and simply click Jailbreak one more time. actually allow substitute to have permission. I'm just gonna click always allow. And it says support uncover. Please support these guys. They are amazing. This is fantastic work. It looks like the jailbreak utility actually worked on the very first attempt. This is my very first attempt recording this video and it actually worked on the first try. I cannot believe that right now. Uh, maybe I don't speaking too soon before it's actually done. We'll see in just a second here. But there we go, jailbreak completed, no error occurred. Click OK, and you should respring now and enter into the jailbroken state. Cydia should be on your home screen now. We'll give it a second to respring. 
So I gotta change that, guys. For whatever reason, uh, new applications are not showing up on the home screen, but there it is, guys. Cydia fully running. Let's let it boot up. This is again, like I've been saying throughout this video, this is the latest flagship device here. I'll go ahead and carry it. We no longer need it connected to the computer. Um, so here we go. And there we have it, guys. Cydia is fully loaded, and look at that, iOS 14.3. I still cannot believe, guys, that this worked on the very first try. That bodes well for performance and stability. Uh, it really could not be simpler than that, guys. Uh, but yeah, that is the iPhone 12 Pro Max jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak that was just released. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. If you're excited for some top tweak videos, I'm going to start those pretty soon, guys, to show you some of the awesome things you can do with a jailbroken iPhone. Thank you so much for the support and for stopping by today. I'll be back real soon, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. Oh,